Rents have shot up as much as 15% in some parts of Southern California, so more and more people are trying to cut costs by adding roommates. One company did the math on how much you can save by shacking up. For Lily and Richie, living with roommates was a no-brainer. When I first moved out here, I had four roommates. I would say I paid about two-thirds of what I pay living alone. She says 800 a month got her a sweet house in Hancock Park. We had a backyard and an orange tree and, you know, washing machine in the apartment. and <laughs> A lot of amenities that you don't necessarily get with living by yourself. Blake Pearson is the founder and CEO of Lovely, a website and app that gives users rental data in real time with alerts each time a place opens up. Pearson's company crunched rental data and found big savings with roommates. You just have a lot of people competing for a fixed amount of inventory. Young, old, um, you know, people are just, they're being forced really because of, you know, the economy and uh, just, and prices going up. The only way they can make, you know, a fixed budget work um, and current housing conditions is to find roommates. What we found is that if you, even if you just live with one roommate, you can save close to 25% on a per bedroom basis. According to Lovely's data, two roommates in Silver Lake can save you 32%. In West Hollywood, where a one bedroom averages nearly $1,800, four people sharing a four bedroom place shaves 37%. And in Beverly Hills, you can save about 45% with three roommates. I have a lot of older friends who still have roommates. Um, I have, I even have some married friends or engaged friends who are still living with roommates. Um, it just makes a lot of sense financially, especially with what you can get house-wise. Lovely breaks down the savings in nine L.A. neighborhoods. You can find that link right here at myfoxla.com. I'm Heidi Kuda for Fox 11 News.